strong. Hello, welcome back. My name is Addicts, otherwise known as Double Dot um, or Jimmy. I don't really care. Um, I'm gonna change up these intros a little bit. I cringed myself out a little bit uh, watching the first video of this, and I've been kind of thinking about it. The idea of just showing you memories. I don't know. Unless I get like better at editing or decide to invest more time in the editing and the showmanship of it, I might go back to it. But for now, I'm not going to. Um, but last episode of Eternal Darkness Centuries Requiem, we had, uh, you know, discovered our main character. I forget her name already uh but our main character's grandfather had died in a uh some way with his head cut off and shit um the detective was confused so he showed us the body and said is this it but you know there's no way we can verify it outside of apparently a ring um exploring the house a little bit thought that we had we since we had a key to the upper floor that that's where we needed to be and lo and behold i was wrong and went to the place that i needed to go even though i don't know where to go um, unless it's free form and that, you know, you can kind of go wherever. Uh, but basically, found a book, read the book, went back in time. Shit, bump my mic. Went back in time, uh, killed a bunch of undead, then picked one of three colored artifacts, which, after some research, technically is a difficulty thing, um, except that it's not technically easy, normal, hard. It's more so what magic powers that you apparently get um, before the others. I don't know what magic powers I get before whatever, but basically the consensus is that green is easier difficulty, which, oh well, it is what it is. Green's my favorite color. Uh, but however, it's only easy based on what spells you get first, um, and stuff like that. Uh, the, the cool part about this, uh, the green apparently does sanity damage as well as health damage so we'll get to see more sanity effects because you know the the the, the appeal of this game is not to just heal your sanity over and over again it's to see how crazy you can get um so i'm definitely going to let some of those sanity effects ride but anyway let us get back into the thick of it Loading. okay so last wheels off we read another manuscript book thing Jesus. And, uh, I was fixing my headset. Looks like all these doors are kind of sh- Ooh. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Because I think that's what it wants us to do. Statue of a strange necklace on his neck. Which should I take it? Should Elia take it? Yes. Open your eyes. Ah. Uh, I thought I was gonna open its eyes. Then I was gonna go, Oh! Alright, can be used to heal. Make sure it does not move while the spell is being cast. Ah, so it is a spell. Oh, that closed? Oh, do I need to put the necklace back to be able to go through there? No. It's a red spell, though. I don't know what those sigils are. But it's got 10 uses. Oh, there was another leg over here. I guess I could have went right. But I chose not to. Ah, undead. <laughs> Details. The design of the wall appears to depict the time of day. Perhaps I can the candles do too. Okay. Those guys are definitely going to come alive at some point. Ah. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. <laughs> I don't like how these faces are looking at me. Do, 
Oh, I avoided that trap. Haha. -ha. Little pussies. Oh, that's a big one. When located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter and the character to pulse green. Beware, sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Uh, okay, so sanity meter is up top. Okay. Uh, this meter represents a character's sanity. Every time he or she meets a monster with his or her sanity, it gets lower, the lower this meter gets, the more the character will hallucinate. All right, so what the green difficulty does is that when I get hit, not only does it lower my health, it lowers down sanity, which I don't think the other colors do that. Um, I didn't know that. Oh, shit, run. And then performing a finishing move on them. We'll restore it. Finish him. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Bronze necklace. I picked up a bronze necklace. Can't use. Check. Where's one glowing gems? Awesome. Okay. Detail. The design on the wall appears to depict the time of day. Perhaps the candles. Did you press Y, X, and A um, to determine candles? Oh, shit. Wrong button. There we go. I assumed that where the candle is just where the sun was at. Okay. I engraved on the floor uh, uh, the striking design featuring brightly burning suns. Alright, I'm about to go back and kill those other undead that are down there. Come alive. Oh, these aren't all up anymore? Okay. Awesome. Killed. Killed. Okay. Jesus. Alright, engraved the strike of the sun striking sinking below the edge of the world. Okay. Okay. Am I supposed to head back? Oh, I put the strange necklace on here. Boom, and that opens up the other gate. Aha! I'm so smart. I'm so nervous about drinking my uh, my water because uh, I got up right before recording and had a cup like full of water. Looked into it right before I was about to drink it. There's a fucking stink bug, like a June bug, you know, whatever, in it. Just sipping out of the same thing. So. Why the fuck did you do that? It scared the shit out of me. Um, about the edge of the world. Okay. And uh, basically threw it in the toilet. Drowned the bitch. So. Haha, -ha, you thought. Listen here, guys. I avoid traps. I never set any off. The only trap you can get me with is the bear trap. Just know that. Oh, no. Oh, that's a big one.
Oh, he takes multiple hits. He took... Oh, he's not dead yet. He just was standing there. Oh, they take a lot. Finish him. Gain some of that sanity back. Alright. Um, cool. Now we do this candle thing. Awesome. Uh. And... Yes. Well, I guess technically I could have came in here first. So. And where'd I go? Dodge the traps. This one I may not be able to dodge. I dodged it. Anything over here? Ooh. For the decade of edge frequencies for the blow gun upon it must have special stuff for it to be the Now these things come alive. Okay, this is where I was supposed to go. Okay. Good to know. How do you land with that with no shoes? How do you land and not break a toe? Oh my sword broke. Uh, can I... please? What? The guard is grateful for Elliot saving his life in return. He offers his services. Velia brings him a weapon that has been broken. He will repair it as a gesture of thanks. Oh. I got one. Pick up, please. Hey, friend. I don't know how you, you'll fix this, but... Oh, with magic. With magic. Okay, I definitely prefer using the sword. <laughs> I appreciate. I appreciate. You have anything else? You're just a guard down here, dude. Oh, I stepped on a thing. That's a shame. Well, I was gonna have to step on one anyway. Alright. Oh yeah, I hear stuff. Dead. Oh dude, this combat is so much easier than I remember. I hope it's not because I chose green. And I hope that it's just... Dismembering is much better than not dismembering. Alright, there's a hole in the device, something, perhaps a key or a lever. I don't have either. So we go this way. Alright, another trap thing that I can't... Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. I thought I was good, but I wasn't. I thought I was safe. Alright, all these traps, you know what that makes me want to do? It's not safe. to say Fuck! I just sprint. I made it through. Kind of hard to see. Oh, god damn. 
Oh, they fight each other? Oh, that's that's great. Blow dart this dude. All right. That was good. I'm happy that worked. They fight each other. Okay, good to know. Or at least the red and the mummies did. Oh boy. Am I hurt at all? What's up? Uh... Just in case. Can I save again? I sure can. We shall do this. And we shall sway our hips towards. Hello. Stop. Don't go near it. So, you are reduced to feeding on flesh and bones, Astrolog. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. You are one of the chosen many. Flesh and blood. It is now your destiny to fight the eternal darkness. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold for the Mantarok's heart. The essence of the Quartz God. To some it is a source of great power. From those people, you must get vengeance. Lest they use it to destroy what little brightness your world has left in it. God is well. That seems like a trick. All right, we'll just leave. Is leaving an answer I can actually do? No, because in order to get out, isn't the place locked? In order to get out, I have to have a lever, and I think that's the only lever I got. How's the map looking? Alright, fuck it. We out here, dude. Held in the arms of the statue. I'll leave. But you do run out of stamina. Good to know. Whoa! Okay. I just want to leave them.
Oh, I just can't believe I ran through all that. Heal up some stamina real quick. Or sanity. Heal up some more sanity. That was good. I didn't want to fucking do that. Fuck. Lovely. Can I save? No. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Another room full of creatures, right? Oh my god! Now I'm gonna start hallucinating shit. Yeah, my sanity's so low. Wait, no, that room is where I needed to be. Fuck, dude. God damn it. I remember now. Alright, I guess fighting these things are going to be what I got to do. Uppy, 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 uppy. These mummies, the headshots work great. Heal up some of that sanity. Uppy, 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 uppy. And then use. Alright, and then we have to go back the way we came. Not that way. This way. Okay. Hell yeah. Alright. Blow gun, because we gotta kill these guys. Because I don't have low, so I don't have low sanity. Finish off. Blow dart is really good against these guys. It's good to know. You have limited ammo, though. Another one? About? No. Okay. Keep the blow dart just in case. Now we run this way. You gonna summon some things at me? It seems like a combat fucking area. Add a stamina. Can I That's kind of cool. I don't know why you care about doing that, but. Statue of a human bears witness to the mom's drives that fills the room. The porous stone of his body covered in a effluvial grime that Mantarak has secretly secreted over the years.
Okay, I thought maybe I could target him. For some reason. Hello. I have entered. Fool. You should have run. I tried. Dad, you will die. Where is the essence of Tantarok? Where is it? I will not ask again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. I don't think that was a choice thing. I don't think I could have left, but... Chapter complete. Let's go. Ah, yes. I heard sound of footsteps galore, dude. It's a message tube. Antique leatherbound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed message scrolls. There might be something inside. Yes. Another fucking chapter page? Your presence is welcome, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both, Nancy. As do we all. What is this for? You wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Ulioth, Chaturka. Should they unite with Mantarok, they would doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness appalls, and light appalls dark, the others will not, cannot, join forces. Mandarin will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. Certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence, it is necessary to cement our place in your world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius, think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one and the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Okay, so now I save. And if I my theory is correct, I then read this page and I do the same exact thing. I get trans my research. It is apparent that the endeavors of mankind yes. are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire mm. was at the height of its power. Oh. 
Hunk mit ad dominum et imperatorum nostrum, Calalum magnum francum. Deliver this to our Lord and Emperor, Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. They are words for his eyes only. At once. Dumb bitch. What sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. If this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. Can I save? I sure can. Does the little picture change now? It does. Okay, we are in... We're playing as Anthony. 814 AD. Is there another way I can see that? Outside of the save? No. We'll read this. Message scrolls. Um, uh, this one is a strange diagram consisting of pentagonal shape with strange letters in each corner. That's something has been intended. Suspecting... Uh, must warn. Okay, cool. We have more health and more sanity than the last person. Uh, uh, Elia, whatever her name is. So, that's good. Okay. So that ends this second episode of Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Um, I'm only going to do like 30-something minute episodes. Just because it's a lot easier for me to do that and record and all that stuff until I get back in the group of things. Who never knows? We might go back to an hour long form. But since the issue with Bramble, uh, where I did like an hour and a half, because I did the hour and then realized, that, oh shoot, I'm about to beat the game. And did the other 30 to 40 minutes or whatever. And uh, the recording was scuffed. It could not work because I changed some settings in OBS and encoded it with something that was not compatible with anything I had. And I can't change the encoding, whatever I fucking did. So, yeah. Uh, it'll be a while before Bramble finale comes out because I'll have to replay through the whole game. I can't find a save where I was at because it saved on its own. And it only kept one save. So, shame as it is. Uh, the game was great and all that good stuff. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to do that eventually. Not anytime soon, though, just because it kind of pissed me off. Mostly me, not the game's fault. Um, but the game was great. I did finish it. Uh... So yes, when we come back for Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem, we'll be continuing on with Anthony and warning Charlemagne the Frank uh, about, you know, dangers to his life. So thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, whatever time it may be. Thanks again. Bye.